Hey guys, and well, first I want to say that um, this is weird. Today it's been really hot, 85 degrees, and it's um, April 10th, and where I live, it's not common to get 85 degree weather in the spring like this. Now, um, today I'm going to be reviewing something called Buckyballs by by Zoom Daggle. Um, this is actually a product that's pretty much the same thing as something that Ashton's reviewed. So I'll be trying not to copy his video, but I'll pretty much be talking about the same things. And I'm going to be showing a cool, some cool things that you can do with these. Um, so, anyway. Um, first of all, let's take a look at these. Now, they were packaged in here in some sort of plastic thing in a cube. Um, but I, it was disposable, so I threw that out. So, um, you have the actual thing itself. There's 216... As it says here, 216 powerful rare earth magnets, and then there's a warning below saying, um, you can't see it, but it says, um, warning, keep away from all children. Do not put in nose or mouth. Swallowed magnets can stick to intestines, causing serious injury or death. Seek immediate medical attention if magnets are swallowed or inhaled. Yeah, only give it to responsible people. That's why it's mainly meant for adults. So, um... Well, let's take a look at these first. I actually have to set the camera down. Alright, so, you have a ball of 216 of these, and you can actually make a 6x6x6 six 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 cube. But I'll show you that, um... So, the way they're magnetized, they stick to each other, and it's really easy to pull out strings of them. It's also very fun, too. I know, it looks... It's irregularly very fun. Um... Okay, let's see here. You know what, I, I gotta look for something else um, to put the camera on. Okay, so, also, um, you know, you can make stuff with these, you can make cool designs. So, um, but before I do the fun stuff, let's get out the, the boring stuff out of the way. Yeah, it, because this is more or less a review. Um, so, first of all, um... Let's talk about how, um, these are. Well, I'm actually going to be talking about something to review them that was talked about in Ashen's review. So, he said that, um, well, these are, they're not that cheap. They're not super expensive, but, you know, they're not really cheap either. He tried to get some, um, cheap products that are supposed to, that were just cheap, crappy imitations. And let's talk about this. He said that the cheap ones that he got that were a different product under a different name, that weren't anything like this, because they sucked. Um, the cheap ones lost magnet their magnetic properties, and if they were colored, um, you can get different colors, but the, it was cheap paint and turned his hands black. These ones are, um, they're not like that. These ones are just as good as they were the day I got them. They're just as strong, and they're pretty strong too. Um, the shapes I make, they hold. Um, I've never had a problem with these. Okay. Now, there's just one more thing I need to talk about. Um, they're highly magnetic, so don't put them next to anything that stores data, has a screen, or has a magnetic bar, you know, like a credit card, because it'll ruin those things. And try not to lose them, because it sucks if you lose one, because then you can't make the cube. And um, there's other designs that, um, the way it works, you, j you end up using all of them. And, like I said, they're magnetic, they'll end up sticking to something metal, and it just might make them hard to find, and it'll be hard to scrape off. Okay, now, if there's a... I gotta think, though. Those are the only two things I had in mind. Um, I mean, other than that, you know, you pull them out. Okay, now let's get to the interesting stuff. So, you want to start by make... If you make things, you pull them out like this, and it's fascinating. You know, you can do whatever. Um, um, so, one very important shape that you'll need to know is the triangle made by using nine of these. So, count nine, break them off. Um, let's see here, I'll show you. Okay, I only have eight, so I need one more. There we go. Nine. Now, make them into a ring. Now, squeeze two pieces that are one away from each other. So, as you can see... Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, sorry, I almost dropped the camera. Alright, yeah, it's on top of a box. Let's... 
um, squeeze them together, so you have this, then you have, um, six pieces, so the four back ones push forward like that, and you have a triangle. I'll do it again. Same procedure. Yep. Okay. There we go. And then you stick them together, and you actually can, um, make a whole lot of things using that. I'll show you some later. Um. Okay. Uh-huh. So, you know, after that, you can also, um, make things like, I don't know, rings. Hold on, I might have to sneeze. Um, okay, I guess not. So, um, you have a ring like this. Yeah, you pull out strands and make rings. Alright, yeah. There, you can wear it as a bracelet. Hold on, I'll do that. I gotta get a good amount, though, because otherwise it's going to look kind of stupid. Alright, fit it, yep, yep. See, look, it's a bracelet. And then, when you're done, just push it all together. Because they're magnetic. That's the nice thing about these. Easy cleanup. Uh-huh. Alright, now, let's talk about actually making things with these. It can take a while, and it does take a while to get used to it, because, um, <clears throat> because, at first, you might have a hard time, you might have, um, you might have a hard time with, um, pieces that you don't want connected, um, connecting, because you're accidentally putting them too close to each other. It gets annoying, but, it eventually, um, it's something that you can work around. So, I actually have different designs that I can show you. Some of them are flips, where I make a two-dimensional object, and I... Or, um, yeah, pretty much two-dimensional. And I can put it in my hand and make it three-dimensional by, um, folding certain parts. Others are just cool designs that are kind of standard. So, uh, I'll show you one. Alright, I actually have, um, this on a different box, the camera. Um, so, first, I've got a grid of by 36 by 6. I can make a 6 by 6 by 6 cube. So, this is pretty much the easiest way to do it, otherwise... It, you will have a nightmare, and let's just hope I don't mess up. So, the first thing you want to do is count one, two, three, four, five, six, and fold over. All right, make sure you've got the correct amount. And let's see here. Do I? Yes. Okay, good. I thought I screwed up at the first. All right. Once again, it's pretty much the easiest way to do it, and the safest way. Because while it doesn't take too long to make the grid, it's still kind of a nuisance if you have to redo it. So, three, four, five, six. Alright. Alright, almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. Almost there. Okay. Alright, good. Success. Alright, so here we go. Here's a 6x6x6 six by six by six cube. Now I have more things to make. I thought this one was kind of one of the most uninteresting. I mean, it's pretty cool, but it's kind of simple if you've seen the other things. So, uh, next I have another cool design. Alright, this one's more of a presentation. See? Kind of looks like a snowflake. Um... Now, let's see, I don't want to mess this one up, because this one took a while to do. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that was kind of close. See, now it's a thick snowflake, and... Ta-da! Wait, there's more! Oh, man. Alright. Ta-da! And look. Yeah. Next item. Alright, this one's kind of interesting. Think of it as, like, not really a telescope because it's not magnifying anything. You can look through it. See how I can look through it with the camera? Here, I'll put something that you can actually see. Alright, I don't want to get it too close, though, so that's the spot. See, look, it's the case. Yeah. And this one... It's interesting that they give you 216 because it's, it's using all of them, and around 
it's eight pieces, you know, each ring, because this is obviously, oh, uh, not really obviously, but this is several rings of these put together. Each one's eight pieces around. You can also do it with six pieces around and nine pieces. I did it with eight so you could see through it, because I usually do this with six. Alright, next item. This one's a little bit cooler, the next one I have to show you. Alright, this one I can't take credit for, simply because I didn't come up with it. Also, um, it doesn't use all the pieces, but I'll show why. So, um, just gotta make sure I got this right. This one's pretty cool. If you can get it to work, and I just... Oh, okay, finally. This is the fourth time I've had to do this one, and you see why. Take the four, put them like this. And, um, okay, invert them. Alright, that takes a second, and... You've got to stand. Alright. Next one. Once again, I did not come up with this one. Um, this one, yeah, it's not exactly flat. Let's see, and... Ah, crap, hold on. I, I know how to do this. Alright. Ah, oh, there we go. Ta-da. It's not exactly round. Alright, next one. Once again, I did not come up with this idea, um... It's not mine. Found it online. Okay, so let's see here. And uh, I just hope this doesn't mess up. I, okay, I'm doing this with two hands because I, for the simple reason, I didn't want it to fail. And I know it'll look cooler if I could just do it with one hand, but I didn't want to risk it. So this one, it's kind of flatter. Kind of looks like a hacky sack. Yeah, and I have one more of these to show. Here's the very last design. Once again, it's not mine. So, this one's interesting, and I'll sh you can probably see why. It's a little different than the other ones. Ta-da! See, it's not really an object that's kind of round. It's more of pillar-like. It's more pillar-like than the other round ones. Yeah. So, <clears throat> that's pretty much all that I have to say. Um, so, now, this is the, um, this is important to know. So if you actually want to buy these, um, I got, oh, I didn't really get them, but, um, the person who got these, um, got them, yeah, I got them as a, as a gift, um, on thinkgeek.com, um, once again, that's thinkgeek.com, um, I'll also post a link in the description, but, um, now about the price, like I said, they're not really cheap, but I guess they're not as expensive as they could be, these ones, the normal ones, the metallic ones, they're kind of silverish, um, are $29.99, and of course, you know, shipping, which depends, uh, um, probably where you live, um, they also, oops, sorry, they also come in different colors, though, there's three different colors, I think one of them's like a gold color, it looks pretty cool, and I think there's a black one, and <clears throat> another one I don't remember, but what I do remember is that those three are $34.99, I believe. So, once again, I'll post a link in the description, and now this brings me to the last thing. This isn't about these, but, um, uh, there's this website that, um, I use called swagbucks.com. You may have heard of it, um, so basically what you do is, um, you search the internet. It's like using Google search, and you get rewarded for doing so. You get swagbucks. They're like points. You can also answer daily polls and do surveys and a bunch of deals. Um, and it's 100% legit, like you can see people, they've opened stuff, they've unboxed stuff in video they got, um, to prove that it's legit, and so, um, I guess, I, I, I will recommend joining it, because, you know, it's free, it's one of those, like, why not things, because you're always going to get points for something that you can win, it might take a while though, like, unlike another website called Blockers, it, it's a little, seems like you get points a little slower, but, um, you, whatever they have up for um, up in their swag store, you can redeem at any time. It doesn't have to be like a, a certain redemption. So that's what I like. Except it's gonna take a while to um, actually get points for something. So below that, I'll put my referral link, and you can use it to sign up and um, start getting rewarded. And you know, if you use your brain, you'll eventually find ways where you can get a lot more swag bucks, and you can redeem stuff a lot faster. I mean, you know, by getting lots of, uh, and lots of swag bucks. So, um, that pretty much wraps this video up. 
this was a review of the Buckyballs, and, um, you might want to get one of these, or some of these, I guess, as there's lots of these magnets, because they are pretty interesting, so, um, you know, stay tuned for the next video, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.